HealthHealth.com. You know, oftentimes we only think of February as the time to pause and think about the successes of African Americans. But Black History Month is also the perfect time to learn about our ancestors and it's something I've always wanted to do. You see, I grew up in Ohio and around nine years old, I decided I wanted to work in TV news and learn about my mother's side of the family and our Iredell County roots by living in the Piedmont. I'm doing both. And different stories that I've heard about here. It's funny, the two of us being right here right now. That's Doug Halp, who I'd never seen, never heard of until shortly after I moved to the triad. It's kind of surreal, you know, when you uh, think about, I guess, how we met. Doug is a trainer at the gym where I signed up for a membership. I recognize you as soon as you first came in. I was like, wow, I said, um, I think that's Kerry Charles who just came into the into my class. He lives in Greensboro, was born in Statesville. I didn't think anything about it until we got to talking and everything, and then I actually uh, looked up your bio. And learned my mother was born in his hometown. I said, okay, cool. So what's your family name? And then when you said uh, Summers, I was like, oh, wow, okay. I'm kid to the Summers as well. This right here is my great grandmother. Nanny Summers later married a Ram Sewer. She and my great grandfather, who I never met, was William Mabel Summers, brother and sister. That fate really brought us together. together yeah. I mean, I'm just standing here, I'm just knowing that, you know, of course I was involved in her life and everything as well as a, as a child, but never knowing that years later, over 20 years later, that I would uh, meet some, meet um, an offspring of a sibling of, of hers, you know, and that's how we would come together. I would like to um, trace our history, our roots, even further back. I started in 1979 and I'm still searching. Lamar DeLoach knows a thing or two about family history research. He should. He's the co-founder of the Afro-American Historical and Genealogical Society of North Carolina. It's interesting because I only start out to, to try to find out um, whether DeLoach's that were living two miles and five miles away from me, whether they related to me. DeLoach says his story dispels a common misconception. African Americans can't trace their roots well into slavery. Well, Deloach followed his family name to France in the 1600s. I can go back 11 generations. Research, he says, can start with interviewing older family members and compiling that information. But when you start to do the pedigree chart, or the family tree chart, you have a total of four grandparents. You got eight great grandparents, 16 great great grandparents. 32 in the next generation, each grandparent a pathway to learning more. When you're researching and you run across a variation spelling, a, a similar spelling of your name, uh, kind of tuck that in your, in your uh, genealogical bank. Deloach did. Early on it didn't make much sense, but through his research it all came together. The Deloaches were a little bit into the religious thing and they put the T in as a sign of the cross. His family name can be spelled 14 different ways. It began as the Lodges in France. See if the Loach had property. The basics for searching family history are the same and be sure to have plenty of patience. If you run to a roadblock and you say, wow, I can't find, then you may want to look at the Native American roles. All things my distant yet close cousin Doug and I will keep in mind on our quest to learn more about our family. It is so important uh, to figure out, you know, to um, trace your roots just so that you know where you come from, you know, just, uh, just so that you can kind of get a good idea of the journey um, that, your, that our ancestors had to go through. Now, with the help of others, Doug and I have been able to trace our family back to 1865. You can get tips to help you trace your family roots by visiting the Historical and Genealogical Society's website. We posted a link at myfox8.com. I'm so excited. I love this family history stuff. And the reason this was so important to me is that my mother's father died in uh, the late 50s, 59. Mm -hmm. And so we've been really disconnected from that side of the family. So it was just happenstance. And it was what, fate being here to do What a this. freakish occurrence that you met this guy. Yeah. And and all of a sudden that discussion led to that. Well, and quick story here, covering the DNC, right. uh, you know, I always wanted to learn more about my grandfather. I got down there, met a volunteer from Statesville who's an older gentleman. Mm. I said, hey, do you know this name Summers? And he played basketball with my grandfather. Connections Through everywhere. The whole family. Yeah, Connections it's amazing. everywhere. Gosh, I'll follow you around. We'll just do a story <laughs> more with him. Tara, thanks. Cindy? Well, it's time.